Mount Talanai is a complex volcano in the Philippine province of Negros Oriental. At about 1,903 meters 6,243 feet above sea level, it is the second highest mountain on Negros Island after Mount Jinlatan. The volcano is located 9 kilometers 5.6 miles southwest of the municipality of Valencia and 20 kilometers 12 miles from Dumaga City, the capital of the province. Volcanoes in the Gros Island like Mount Finland and M. Mount Talanides is part of the Durango Fire, also referred to as the Serpent Pacific Belt, is a path along the Pacific Ocean characterized by active volcanoes and frequent earthquakes. The majority of Earth's volcanoes and earthquakes take place along the Ring of Fire. Mount Talanides remained dormant for a thousand of years but it holds a potential danger to people living within its parameters. The various thermal vent manifest that burning or magma exist underneath the Mount Talanides mountain range. 75% of Earth's volcanoes More than 450 volcanoes are located along the Ring of Fire. 90% of Earth's earthquakes occur along its path, including the planet's most violent and dramatic seismic events. The abundance of volcanoes and earthquakes along the Ring of Fire is caused by the amount of movement of tectonic plates in the area. Along with much of the Ring of Fire, plates overlap at convergent boundaries called subduction zones. That is, the plate that is underneath is pushed down, or subducted, by the plate above. As the rock is subducted, it melts and becomes magma. The abundance of magma so near to Earth's surface gives rise to conditions right for volcanic activity. The significant exception is the border between the Pacific and North American plates. This stretch of the Ring of Fire is a transformed boundary, where plates move sideways past one another. This type of boundary generates a large number of earthquakes as tension in Earth crust builds up and is released. Mount Talons is classified by the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology as a potentially active volcano forming part of the Negros Volcanic Belt. Bandazite and basalt are the most abundant rocks found on the mountain. With a base diameter of 36 kilometers 22 miles the volcanic complex is composed of several volcanic cones and peaks, the most prominent of which are Talanai, Chulonos, Dini Rose, Wensail and Pizanan Peak and Dean Tagan Dome. The mountain range is very cumulative with several salt guitarists and steam vents located on its slope in a harness to generate electricity. The southern micro geothermal production field in Talanfinan generates 192.5 megawatts. KO Twin Lakes National Park The National Park, established on November 21, 2000 by Proclamation No. 414. It is the most visited park of which the twin crater lakes of Balan Saseo and Danao are located separated only by the narrow mountain ridge. Lake Cabalan and a smaller lake is located before the two lakes. All three lakes are located within the Quintaban caldera. Mount Talagnais is easily climbed via nature trails that start in Bijao, Darwin and Apalong, Valencia. Several crater lakes exit. Lake Lake Balan Saseo, Igamanan is between Yacht and Yon Peak and the main peak of Kuornos, Dini Rose. Lake Mela and Lake Mabilong are crater lakes near the summit. Lake Mayilijan serves as the main camping ground, with the peak accessible by a 30-minute trip. The summit is heavily forested and mostly covered with fog. The Cape of Hansel prevents an area of dead trees and bleach tops can be found on the trail to Otho Long, Balance I-8. These indicate that magma chamber on this is active, releasing a small amount of geothermal energy below the Earth mantle. On February 6, 2018 in the UMAGUEE city, Philippine News Agency published an interview with the known professor and scientist in his own right, the head of the physics department of Siliman University in Dumaguete City strongly believes that the ongoing earthquake events in Valencia, Negros Oriental are not tectonic but rather caused by volcanic activity. 
This is contrary to the repeated statements of state-run Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology Five Oaks that the series of earthquakes is tectonic in origin and that these can be traced to the fault line from Sibulent Town to the southwest of the province. Professor Francisco Long, Jr., in an interview by Philippine News Agency, disclosed that his initial observations, based on data from Five Oaks, were inclined towards potential volcanic activity in the vicinity of the Culornos de Negros. Culornos de Negros, locally known as Mount Palanize, was categorized by Five Oaks as a potentially active volcano, although it had not erupted in thousands of years, he said. The term potentially active volcano means that it is really active only that the activity is not directly observable for now, Fong Long explained. He further said, there is that element of possibility that it will erupt but nobody can tell when but there are symptoms or indicators whether or not a volcano will erupt. According to the professor of Silliman University that I am more inclined in saying that validation should be made on some kind of mathematic movement under the base of Cuornos de Negros, Long said. According to him, the earthquakes observed since January 1st of 2018 that even those earlier occurred at the base of the volcano referring to the areas that were at the foot of Cuornos de Negros. The physics professor said he had plotted these earthquakes based on data gathered from five oaks, which pointed to possible magmarizing from underneath the base of the volcano. The earthquakes that are happening are concentrated somewhere in the vicinity of Culornos, and we cannot consider immediately based on the data that the cause is tectonic because when we say tectonic, before a series of earthquakes, the biggest to happen is the main shock, Foglong pointed out. There was no main shock. More than 100 earthquakes had already been recorded by Five Oaks in Valencia since January 1st, and data showed that there were smaller tremors occurring before the biggest one so far took place on January 27th, he said. A magnitude 4.7 earthquake, which Five Oaks plotted as having a reference point in Darwin, occurred around 6.21 a.m. on that day. But an hour or so before that, about three or four smaller earthquakes were recorded in nearby Valencia. But there are indications, according to a long, of potential volcanic activity at Mount Talanize, such as magma approaching the surface. Every time it moves, it disturbs surrounding rocks, and these will be shaken thus causing volcanic earthquakes. The scientist said, Magmas are high-pressured materials that will cause disturbance of surrounding rocks underneath, said Eglong. He is challenging the five oaks to deploy experts with the right instruments to validate the possibility of volcanic activity at Kulonos de Negros. Five oaks should come here, bring instruments, and stay there for a period of weeks in order to do a geophysical survey of the current condition of Culornos de Negros and its surroundings, he said. Long is hopeful that Five Oaks will bring the right instruments such as for thermal imaging to probe what is happening underneath the ground and a tilt meter to see whether a portion of Culornos is already tilting downward or upward. The physics Professor emphasizes the need for a scientific and intelligent judgment of what is the present condition of Cumonos de Negros. He said there was already a drying up of streams and vegetation within its vicinity, most likely because of the thermal activity underneath. Furthermore, surrounding trees and plants are dying because of increasing temperature, 
as he showed some photos of a portion of land in the volcano area that had already withered or died. He discounted the possibility of re-injection of water into the pipeline by the Energy Development Corporation EDC which owns and operates the Vietnam power plants in Valencia as a possible cause for the earthquakes. According to him, this is just minimal and shallow and will not be able to generate as many shocks or tremors as recorded by Five Oaks. Five Oaks also concurred in the previous interview with the observation of a bomb regarding BDC activities at the geothermal power plants in Valencia that these would not be the cause of the series of tremors. The reactions come as some quarters have raised concerns on social media on whether certain activities in the geothermal fields in Valencia may be related to the earthquakes. Many residents in Valencia and nearby towns are increasingly worried each day as the shocks continue. The long, however, suggested that perhaps EDC could also help by providing data on the series of earthquakes in that town, noting that the company must have seismic instruments and other equipment to monitor the activity of Mount Talanis. He said in the coming days, he and his team would visit Curonos de Negro's surroundings, and possibly even go as far as FTA. Catalina Town as there was a good deposit of love at somewhere beyond Virango y Milagrosa there. While there was no available data as to when Chulornos de Negros had erupted, Leblanc said there was presence of love at deposits, larger rocks, igneous rocks, and many other similar materials that showed that the volcano had erupted in the past. There is no imminent danger of the volcano erupting but Igmong warns that the continuing earthquakes will put the people at risk in the slot and boulders and landslides. The saw on the local government units to be on and prepared on any eventuality of the volcanic eruption and Qornos de Negros could be predicted even if it did not happen in this lifetime. While earthquakes could never be foretold,